facing a, you get up there, that guy's throwing triple digits and mm -hmm. you inside out one. I mean, that had to be one of the better feelings this year. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I knew coming to the plate, you know, he, he was throwing pretty hard, uh, had some good stuff. Uh, so I was just trying to slow everything down, you know, get the foot down, see it. Um, we had a guy at third, so I was just trying to get the ball in play. and. Luckily, I was I was able to do that. Not to mention you're in there because Austin couldn't go, mm -hmm. and I mean that kind of probably not yeah. rusty, you would say, mm -hmm. but you hadn't been in there all this season long. Yeah, yeah, um, but you know I, I've been ready um, during training. You know I, I've been I've been moving around, you know, short and third, but but I, it, it was good. It was good to, to finally come back and see the field. What were you more proud of, your diving play at third or that or that single? Uh, probably the diving play. Probably the diving play because that that could have turned into a to a big inning, you know. Um, so I, I was just glad I was able to able to make that play. It's different about your approach at the plate this year. You just look like a, a much more confident and, and versatile hitter. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's that's one of the the main factors, you know. It's gaining my confidence back, um, trying to slow everything down, going back to the basics, um, getting the foot down, keeping the head down, just all that good stuff, you know. Uh, Coach Baxter has done a, done a great job. Um, so just going back to the basics and yeah. You walk a lot more now. Mm -hmm. Is that a just improved pitch recognition or what is that? Um, yeah, yeah, you know, just going down to the cages, hitting off the machine. Um, we have a we have a couple machines down there that I could throw a couple pitches. So you, so trying to find your attack zone. Uh, I know Coach Baxter talks mm -hmm. about that a lot with us. Um, so yeah, trying to see a ball in our attack zone, and if it's not there, then, then lay off. What does it say about the, the coaching staff's trust in you that they're able to plug you in as, as an injury replacement in, in such a, a big conference opener mm -hmm. like this? Um, it, it's nice, you know, it, it gives me some confidence that, that they still believe in me, you know. Um, so just knowing that, that they would come to me, um, it, it just, it's a huge confidence booster for sure. Seemed like you were pretty fired up after after that hit. I mean, is the rivalry aspect not lost on you and some of the guys in this game? Oh no, absolutely not. You know, we we kind of try and come out here and, and play hard every every game, no matter who we're playing. But this one this one's a little special for sure. How much is a rivalry for you? I mean, you're from California. Mm -hmm. You may play some of these guys in travel ball. Yeah. But is it is it different for you than it is the other guys? Uh, yeah, it's a little different, you know. But their their emotions kind of rub off on me, and and I kind of kind of go with them and and so yeah it's been three straight sellouts here now mm -hmm. I mean how much of a difference does it make when you have the crowd behind you in some of those big moments oh it's it's huge you know um, getting a clutch hit or making a play or having a huge strikeout um, and seeing the crowd go crazy you know that, that j it's just a good feeling knowing that that we have fans behind us and the the fan base here does a great job and coming to every game and supporting and all that good stuff Thanks, Jason. Thanks, Jason.